Hackers, the coding geek here. Today we're going to animate some sprites. To get our sprites, we'll go to gameart2d.com. And now we'll go to the freebies section. All the game assets in the freebies section are under the Creative Commons license, so you are free to use them. I will choose the boy sprite and then press free download cool save the zip file to your project folder now i will extract it so we'll left click and press extract all i'm going to rename the extract folder to images slash images cool and then press extract nice and delete the zip file from visual studio code now let's start the live reload nice Let's change this canvas's background to blank. That looks better. And I'll also change its dimensions to 800 by 600. Nice. Now let's load the image. We'll create a global variable called sprite and we'll assign it to an image in the setup function. So we'll say sprite is assigned to load image, which is the p5.js function for loading an image. And in here, we'll put the path. The path is images slash png slash run of one dot png. And it's images, not image. Great. And now we will draw the image. So we'll type image, which is the p5.js function for drawing an image, and sprite. And the other parameters are the x and the y. We'll put 200 and 420 and the rest are the width and the height. I will put 200 and 200. Let's save. That looks great. The sprite is a bit small, so let's double the size. I will change the width to 400 and the height to 400. But now he's cut off, so let's move him up. I will change the Y position to 240. That looks much better. Now let's start animating the sprite. So we'll change sprites to sprite images. And we will assign it to an empty array. Then we will say sprite images dot push and here we will put the load image. Great. And here we will use sprite images of zero, which is the first sprite image. We want to load 15 images. So we'll use a for loop from 1 to 15. We need to loop from 1, not 0. And in the loop, we're going to push 15 images into the array. We need to use i in the path 
because the file names have a number in them. To get animation, we have to show image 1, then image 2, then image 3, so on until we get to image 15, and then go back to image 1, and keep doing that. We can get that effect by using the modulus operator. We will write frame count mod 15. Frame count is the total number of frames that have been displayed since the start of the program. Let's save and see what happens. Great, we've animated our sprite. Adventure Boy is running really fast. We can slow him down by changing the frame rate. P5.js displays 60 frames per second by default. So let's change that to 30 to half his speed. We'll call the frame rate function with a value of 30. And save. Cool, that looks better. Now we can look at all of our different animations. So we'll look at the images. And there are dead images, idle images, jump images. So if we change this to, let's say, dead, our character dies. We can even change it to jump. Now our character jumps. And there are a lot of different animations even walk. That's all there is to sprite animation. You can take it further by changing his x value to move him forward. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.